What's going on ladies and gents and welcome back to more Mega Man Battle Network 2. In the last episode we successfully saved the official net battle area from Princess Pride defeating Nightman and now we're locked in our eternal struggle again with Chad as I promised I will defeat this man. I will defeat this man. I'm going to defeat this man. So if you guys didn't miss out on the last episode, the first episode and full playlist are linked down in the description. Description, description. So our Twitter, Instagram, and Discord if you do choose to get social with us. Without further ado, let's uh let's struggle. Struggle. Making poor choices already. I took like a four second break and I'm making poor choices. The hard thing I still have to learn is to scout out his beam slash thing and that follow up thing he does like that. So we stuck there for a moment. Uh, probably just best for me to hit him with a roll right now. I forgot he just like one shots answer. Ah, oh, goodness. I want to beat him. Yeah, he literally just two shots me. Ooh, balance, boys. Balance. We in this. Well, relentless, aren't you? Sword. That's it for me. You got me pinned in that corner. I want to beat Proto Man so badly. It is it is my goal right now just to beat this man. Stop it, Proto Man. I'm sorry for not talking. I'm just concentrating on winning right now because I want to win. My, my goal right now is just to beat Chad. I, I'm, I'm practically land at this point, IRL. I can do this. Yeah. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Wrong show. Heart of the cards.
Working. Winning. Yes! And that is victory! Stupid Chod. Theoretically speaking, it's an unbelievable result. I just kicked your ass. Brings a sword at the enemy's face. Ow, my neck. Uh, I don't know, I kind of actually like having Toad Man on the team. Because of his stun, his little stun thing. Yo, Lan, you really helped with the test. My friend wanted to say thanks for your help. He's in the Battle Castle Banquet Hall right now. If it's okay if you go see him. Okay. This is the banquet. So this guy. Hi, Lan. Thanks for helping the other day. This is a gift from us from all the net battlers. We hope you like it. Uh, you can open the Netopian official security cube with this code. Please use it. Sweet. Thank you. I know I'm a hero. I'm the best. Aha. I beat. I beat Chod. He sucks. He's stupid. Chod. I'm the best. Is it okay? Uh, is it okay to put this on board? Uh, it's got poison. What if it escapes midway? But the flight... I uh, Hey, little man. Now's, uh... There's the aircraft. It waits. Oh, really? So the guy's gonna be a poisonous thing on a plane? Genius. Wait. Hold on. How is that going to go past TSA? Passport, here you go. Hakari. I, why would he give me the option of secret? What are you do? Uh, what do you say? We go ahead and board. That guy's not evil. Yeah, my stomach hurts. Ouch, ouch. Daddy, are you alright? The plane's leaving soon. Oh, great. That father over there says stomach hurts, so I just called an ambulance. Well, let's go. Laws happened as my first trip overseas. Pretty rough, but at least it was memorable. Bye for now, Netopia. I'm sad to leave, but I'm sure I'll be back someday. The plane will be landing in Electopia soon. Uh, I, I was only gone for a little while, really. But somehow it feels like it's been years. I wonder what everyone's been doing. Can't wait to see everyone again. Oh, they all came up to pick me up from the airport. How nice. Lan! Oh, we were waiting for you to get back. We all heard about your adventures in Atopia. What's wrong with you? Yeah, Melu. Well, welcome back, Lan. Hey, why the glum look, Melu? She's been worried sick about you, you big dummy. I was so worried, Lan. Hey, not so close. Dex and everyone. <laughs> That's cute. Woohoo! Look at those two lovebirds. I'm never letting you go away again, Lan. Melu, eh. such 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 a cringy little guy, isn't he? Is your captain speaking? Our flight is currently on schedule. We've crossed the international dateline, which means we'll be arriving in Den City Airport at uh, seven forty-five a.m. today. Hope you enjoy the remainder of your flight. Oh, Melu, uh, your captain's huh? Ah, where am I? <laughs> it's funny. We're in the airplane, sleepyhead. You were talking in your sleep, Lan. <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh, hey, I didn't say anything, okay? Don't you dare. Just kidding. You awake yet? Yeah. I think. What time is it anyways? 11.30 a.m. It's almost time for lunch. Hey, Lan, ask if we can see the cockpit. I'm not sure so let's like, let us in like that. Sure, they will. Just have to ask really nicely. Sure, why not? We'll tell everyone later. Yeah, because, you know, that always works. 
I want to go see outside too. So pretty outside. My dad was supposed to go sit here, but he got a stomach and went to the hospital. That's where Flangle... So you're telling me that you just let your children fly on a plane alone? Airplane sure can fly high. Didn't know the wind. Uh, I didn't sit by the window last time. I couldn't tell. That guy's sleep. Should let him sleep. Well, I can't wait to get to Lactopia Sushi, Samurai, and Geisha. I'm going to print Geisha. Hey, dude. How you doing? Brew room. Storage. Can't open it. Dude, these planes are hella spacious, by the way. Wait. HP memory up. Bug frag. Sell sub chips. Yes, actually. I'll take a full energy. Bunch of can doms. Uh, what does the field look like? <sighs> just shot my satellite out of the air. I just got shrecked. Oh, I am running from that. I hate fighting those guys. I'm going to look to, I'm going to Electopia to learn about networks. Wonder what technology they could use. Business seat. This is the business class. I'll be famous within six months. I'm the famous president of the Goss Inc. I'm talking I'm taking a secret Electopian vacation. I'm going to be riding first class. <laughs> this is first class? Oh my god. Retro trip trade, yeah? Hmm. I love traveling. I used to travel around the world with my grandfather, but now I travel all alone. I have money, but it doesn't buy happiness. This game is so fucking depressing. Wow. Oh yeah, first class baby feels so good because you know I'm number one baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. All right then. Plane runs on autopilot, so all we do is monitor the instrument except for takeoffs and landings. Excuse me, but would it be possible to see the cockpit? Sure thing, kid. Wow, this is so cool. What an awesome view you guys have. Pretty cool, eh? I saw the cockpit once when I was a kid, and that's what made me choose to become a pilot. Wow, it's like your dream came true. Goose, we're hit! <laughs> Looks like we hit an air pocket. You want to go sit down? Yes, sir. Thanks for thanks for letting me be up here. Come on, land. Back to the seat. Your attention, please. We apologize for the bumpy ride, but it looks like we're looks like we're through the worst of it. The captain has turned off the seatbelt light. It looks like turbulence is over. It's almost time for lunch. Want to go walk around first? Yeah, sure. Talk some people around. All right, I talked to mostly everyone. All right, never mind. This guy just sat on a repair chip. Thanks. That guy really doesn't like talking, does he? Uh, what? What happened? What's all fuss about? You woke me up. Sure. Keep yourself calm. That was scary. I think I wet myself a little. That was scary. I won't cry. Everything shook. I was so scared. Sob, why are you on this flight alone without your parents? Does it talk to like everyone? I really hope I don't have to talk to like everyone. Wait, what? Speaking of which, the guy in front of me keeps moving. Uh, some cute girls. I'll be in heaven. Oh, what's up with that geezer? Oh, God. That's so nice. I wanted to fly first class, too. But the Electopian Bug Society doesn't have much money. That was the last battle. Turbulence. Pretty big. You okay? I'm surprised myself. Haha. <laughs> no matter how good the prom, autopilot, can't let the programs do all the work. Oh, it's cat. Almost too big. 
Do I really have to go talk to everybody? Oh my god. I, I, I... Ah! Alright, well, we just got Silver Fist. Awesome. Uh, Fist of... Oh my goodness, what a violent name. Let's try it out. Quake can go. I like how our pet is still not the same color. Hey, kid. Did you know this plane has a one-of-a-kind high-power program? Hehehe. <laughs> plane, it's almost 12. Time for lunch. Oh, great. No. No more. I'm totally stuff. Wow, Lan, you must have been really hungry. This plain food is a lot better than I expected. Oh. Ten minutes later. Ugh. What's wrong, Lan? My stomach, it hurts. Serves you right for pigging out like that. I was helping this man with his luggage and a big spider. What kind of spider? Where did it go? It was all black and hairy with fat legs and red eyes. It went running off. It's probably no big deal. Not so sure about that. You what? You what? Man, did you hear them just now? Spider covered with black hair. What if it's poisonous? That would be bad. Real bad. Even when the passengers knows about bugs. Well, you did just talk to a guy earlier, so let's go. You. Anything I can help you with, Sonny. Hmm. Looking for someone who knows a lot about bugs. It was a lot about bugs. Don't insult me. I am. So I know so much about bugs, they call me an encyclopedia. That's the end of this Let's Play. That pun was shit. Well then, I was wondering. Do you know any spiders with leg with fat legs and black hair? Well, spiders aren't insects. I know a few like that. It did not have a notable features. Oh, yeah. Uh, really red eyes. Ah! That's easy. That's an easy one. Lives in Netopia. That one. Red-eyed woolly spider. Red-eyed woolly spider? Yes. Quite rare, you see. Easily identified by its thick black hair and red eyes. It is incredibly lethal poison. And you guys let it on a plane? If a person is bitten, they freeze up within hours. Aye! What was that? It came from the seats in the back. Land, what if... Mega Man, let's go. Right on. Thanks, mister. My pleasure, Sonny. It's about bugs. I'm your man. But what happened? Uh, spider bit. Uh, oh no, oh no. What should I do? Mega Man, find out if there's any doctors on the plane. Roger. Spider got me. Is there a doctor? You. Yeah, stop. Somebody help me. Uh, yes. I just... Can't dream. Believe I dream at work. Oh, I must be tired. Is that, is that, that guy seems like a doctor. What? What is it? Tell him, Lan! Any of you doctors? Are you a doctor? Okay, so that guy's a doctor. Perfect. I found a doctor. That should do the trick. You gonna be alright, doctor? I think so, but he should wrestle until we reach Electopia. Seems to be in shock from after the poison. He was bitten by a spider. Poisonous spider on a plane. Why didn't you tell us? Sorry, sir. You see, I didn't know it was poisonous. You dipshit. Well, no point in picking up the stewards now. First things first, we gotta catch that spider. <sighs> Except, have a look at his patient. And I'll catch the spider. You'll catch the spider? The poisonous spider! No problem, the bug can't. The bug guy can help me find him. <sighs> and you. Okay, and you're on the job. I'll try to be discreet. If people find out, there's gonna be a mass panic. Panic means lots of injuries, so be careful. Uh, I'll keep. I'll look after the patient in the back. Good luck, kid. Right on. Alright, let's go talk to our bug man friend. In the next episode, thank you guys very much for tuning in this episode of Mega Man Battle Network 2. I've been the Ninja Schmiss. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you guys do leave a little like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you sexy beast next episode. Bye-bye.